everyone welcome back to my channel long time no see i know it has been a while since i have posted any videos i've had a couple shorts that i've posted here and there but things have just been crazy busy the past few weeks as you know i've been back in school i'm taking more classes and those classes are kicking my rear there is a lot of work <laughs> but i did get some stuff from torrid during their latest hope cash sale so i thought i would show you that i have some shirts and a pair of jeans so let's get to this little try on haul okay first off we're just going to start with the little ootd i am filming this on valentine's day and this is my outfit jeans are from walmart actually not torrid <laughs> Uh, these are Levi's, I believe. They're just a boot cut. And then the shoes are from Walmart. Here is my Valentine's Day shirt. It is peanuts. I bought this last year from Torrid. It is a size one. It's a nice little waffle print, but I thought I would show you. Okay, I had a quick phone call that I had to answer. We are still dealing with the girl's broken ankle. That's a whole thing. Anyway, up first is this Hello Kitty shirt. This is the Hello Kitty Stripe Classic Fit Cotton Ringer. I paid $20.21 for it after taxes. I ordered this in a zero because it was a classic fit and I just wanted it to be a little bit roomier. And I'm also in a size now where my daughter likes to steal my stuff. So I knew that this would be a twofer because not only do I like it, but she's really into Hello Kitty and Sanrio right now. But this is it, black and white striped, kind of, you know, a basic tee. I'm trying to start gathering some stuff for the warmer weather and I don't know, just thought it was cute. There's not much more to say about it. So let's move on to the next one. Next up is the Invaders Zim Classic Fit Tee. And this one was also $20.21. It has a nice applique embroidered little Zim figures right here on the chest. Very, very similar to the Hello Kitty shirt. The only exception is there is no ribbing around the sleeve on this one. It's just a regular material helm sleeve, but there is a little bit of ribbing right here. This one is in a double zero and I feel like it fits just like the zero in the Hello Kitty. So I don't know what's up with that, especially since they're both classic fit tees. But anyway, here's the back, just a plain basic tee. I don't see a lot of Invader Zim things around, so I just had to get it, especially with some Hope Cash for 20 bucks, I'll take it. <laughs> there is one more t-shirt that I don't have. It is dirty, it is in the laundry, but I will post a picture right here. And it is the Star Wars Relaxed Fit Cotton Crew Tunic Tee. And I paid $29.32 for that. You know, it's Star Wars, they gotta jack up the price. This is unfortunately not saving the best for last. These are the two pieces that I am gonna take back. For the shirt, we have the Texture Jersey Lace Up Drop Shoulder Top, paid $20.21. And the jeans are the Perfect Wide Leg Vintage Stretch Mid-Rise Jean, paid $44.54. First, let's talk about the top. I just don't like it. <laughs> The material is very soft. It is kind of like got a little bit of like, not ribbing, but it's like, you can see the lines. So it's very soft and comfortable, kind of, kind of see through a little bit. Um, so it would be a nice transition top when, you know, we get up and it's 30 degrees and then it's, you know, 65 degrees later in the day. It has elastic right here on the sleeves, you know, and you can pull them up if you need to, to make it a little bit cooler. I am not, always a huge fan of long sleeves. So I don't know what I was doing when I ordered this, but I just was trying to do something different, <laughs> I guess. I do like kind of the deep V that is happening here with the lace up top, but I just feel like it's kind of matronly personally. And if you like this style, then that is great uh, because it is a very nice shirt and I think it can look right on the right person. I just don't think that person's me. <laughs> personally. Maybe if it had different sleeves, I don't know. Maybe if it wasn't like these banded sleeves, I think I might like it somehow a little bit better, but I think it's, it's this that is throwing me off more than anything. And then let's take a look at these jeans. <laughs> these jeans are supposed to be wide leg. I do not feel that they are wide leg on me. I kind of feel like they come across as more of a straight leg. Um, I was hoping though for a true wide leg. These, I will say though, they are super stretchy, very stretchy. So you might could even size down in these because as the day wears on and they start stretching out more, you know, if you order your regular size, they might end up being too big. Comfort wise, very comfortable. Here's what they look like in the back. Nice pockets, um, might not be deep enough for my phone. I have a very big phone 
And sorry if you see all my chocolate in the back. As I said, it's Valentine's Day. I do like the distressing in them. That's kind of what made me look at them to begin with. Um, I'm also not a fan of the wash in person. I think it looked a little bit better online. And I'm also 5'8 for reference. And these hit just right at the top of my foot. And I wish that they were a little longer. If you like these and you're shorter than 5'8, they might work for you. Overall, as I said, very comfortable. But look, I, look at all this room. These are the size 10. And there's, there's a ton of room in these. <laughs> Um, but nice deep pockets in the front. I love a good pocket, but these, these two are going back. Um, they were duds. I think I would like the jeans more if they were a true wide leg, but then again, I don't know. Cause I think the wash is, the wash is throwing me off as well. So these are going back, but that is it for my tour haul. Sorry. It was kind of short and sweet. This go around. I didn't have as much tour cash as I normally do. Cause I've kind of calm down buying clothes here recently, but stay tuned because more hauls will be coming because spring and summer are coming around and my stuff from last year is too big now. So there will be some spring and summer clothing hauls making its way here in the near future. Um, I'm hoping to go peruse Target here and Walmart soon. I haven't done a good wander around the store in quite some time and I'm excited to see what is out there. But that is it. I will see you guys in the next one and talk to you soon. Bye. And please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>